welcome back. Um, my name is Vicki and I am a independent designer with Chalk Couture. Chalk Couture. This is our Chalkology paste we will be using. Um, we do um, silk screen art. This is a silk screen where you see all these white design, the white through there. That is a little minute little mesh net and it's a silk screen. So when I put the chalk paste on the top and I pull this up, the chalk paste goes through that silk screen, leaving that design on the surface that you're using. Chalk can be used on any surface, pretty much any surface. I've used it on everything, pretty much. I can, can't think of anything that I really wouldn't use it on. Um, you can, if you want it to be sealed though, so if you use it on ceramic and you're gonna put it in your dishwasher, that's not gonna work. You're gonna to wanna to use our ink for that kind of stuff so you can heat set it. Um, but yeah. So let me find myself here. Um, if you're follow, if you're watching me on uh, my Facebook, Color Your World, um, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that fo um, follow and like button. And then um, my YouTubers, hi, welcome back. And if you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, where am I? I'm lost. It, it takes forever. There we go. There I am. It takes it takes Facebook. It was such a lag with Facebook, um, especially since I'm using a third party. I'm using Switcher Studio, is why how I get that um, picture in picture. Um, so it's considered a third party, um, whatever. Um, so Facebook is, yeah, it's a little slower than where than when I go strictly live on my Facebook. But when I go strictly live on my Facebook, I don't get to do the picture in picture. You don't get to see down on the product project. Sorry, I'll flip it over so you can. Um, so there's gives and takes, I guess. You gotta give some to get some. So I am, this is last year's um, transfer. This is not in the book, so, but I really wanted to use it on this um, cutting board I had gotten. The cutting board has a little bunny on it and it's got the, looks like a, um, I think I got stuff stuck to it. It's um, a weave pattern on it, which isn't smooth. So we could have some bleeding. So I'm hoping that it'll be very minute. Wishing, wishing. This one's not, uh, that one hasn't been cut. Maybe that was, let me see if I have the one I've used already. This, you can't really see. Let's see if we can flip it around here. This is filled with transfers. Two and a half, almost two and a half years, you, you tend to collect a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I know I have one that I've used before. I don't want to use the new one if I don't have to. I didn't even think about that when I grabbed it out of here. Always something on a live, isn't there? Scoot back, put this down here so you don't have to look at the back of this thing. And if I have to use that one, I will, but I would prefer to not use a new one. Sorry about this, guys. Talks amongst yourselves. Hi, Lorraine. How are you tonight? I 
think I found it. Yep. So you can tell this one's been used. It's got some ink or chalk stains on it. So let's put this one back and I grabbed it out of here. Apparently when I put it in here, I didn't, I have a section. It's the very last one in the back here. It's for all my transfers that I have with like multiples of. So I can have an extra one or if somebody's in need of one, then I have one to sell them. Put that back there where it belongs. Okay. Okay, now let's get down to business. Let's flip that back around so you can see. So anyway, I'm bunny. So my thought plan is to, um, we're gonna do two, two different colors gray. I have um, Storm, which is a dark gray, and I have Grage, which is a lighter gray. I'm gonna kind of hot mess the bunny and then for the words, I'm going to use our um, pink grapefruit. Now this has different things that goes with it. You can see it has like um, carrots and flowers. And I'm really not going to use those. I'm just going to stick strictly to the bunny and the, the cottontail farms. And this is... It's a ceramic, I believe. It says it's food safe, hand wash only, um, not oven safe, not microwave safe. So it's food safe um, and hand wash only, but if I'm putting this design on it, it's going to be hanging on the wall, decorative safe. And the worst that'll happen is if it bleeds and it looks ugly, I just stick it under the water and rinse it all off and do something else. And that's the thing with this too, is that um, after Easter's over, if I, even though it's got a bunny, if I want to put something else in it, I can just rinse it off and put something else on it. Okay. So let's do... And I'm doing the lighter first simply because I'm going to use the same stick to stick in the darker. And oops, got, I got I got a little crazy. I'm going to look cry cry. Wipe that off. Fling and paste everywhere over here. Anyway, so because I'm going to use this to stick it in the darker. And if I stuck it in the dark first and then in the gray, I would end up with dark. Yeah, you know how it is. I prefer the lighter and the darker than the darker and the lighter. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Fingers crossed. And when I wipe, when I peel this, try this again. When I scrape the excess off, I'm gonna put it in my darker one, simply because um, it's not that much difference. It's not, it's gonna blend into that dark and you're never gonna know. Okay, fingers crossed. Eh, my bad. I'm gonna have to dry him because he's kind of chunky. <laughs> I mean, the paste is kind of thick because I wasn't able to scrape it up like I normally would on a flat surface. 
But at least it looks like a bunny, right? There we go. I keep forgetting to put my comments up here so I can see them when I'm looking at the screen instead of looking over here on my other pad. Okay. Now, Cottontail Farms. Oh, thanks. Press it down as much as I can. Okay. Pink grapefruit. Scrape off as much as I can. Again, fingers crossed. The only thing I don't like is that it, you can't scrape off a bunch of excess and it's like really thick. Oh. I mean, still, you can still read it, but. And I did have some bleeding. But once I get it dried, I can kind of scrape off the areas that bled through because it's just glass. Scrapey tool go. Oh, I don't know. So, use my fingernail. I'm just going to kind of scrape these little areas that bled through. There was just a few, it wasn't a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cottontail Farms. So we're going to go ahead and put a bow on this too, I think, if I can find me. Let me get some of this cleaned up here, though, so I can uh, 
shut my paste up and they don't dry out. pink in here. Might be some pink going on there. Oh look, I got a Christmas tree as a extra special gift. You guys can't really see it. It's got iridescent sparkly stuff on it. Kind of cool. Where's my other one? <clears throat> oh, no you don't. Some paint there. This darker pink one. <laughs> what I do with my bow maker? Oh, right there. What I do with my bow maker, and it's like right there next to me. Ooh. Okay, so. We're gonna use our little bow maker. It's been a while since I've used it. Let me get this out of the way so I don't knock it on the floor and break it. Okay. Oh, found my scrapey tool. <laughs> right, right. Always seem to find it after I don't need it. So we're gonna take some wire. This is just floral wire, really thin. I'm gonna stick it down there, kind of at an angle. some white in with it too just to kind of break it up okay so let's start with white first I never know how to mark it Okay, so we're gonna make a tiny bow. We're not gonna make a big old fluffy bow. We want something that's gonna overpower this. So I'm gonna put this, it has a ruler. So one through eight, one through eight goes right here. So I'm gonna make the tail about a four. So then I'm gonna make the uh, bow itself. So the, this is gonna be the tail. So this is the first tail. And then when we're done, it'll have another tail. But for now, so this is the tail and now we're gonna make the 
the bow itself, and I'm gonna make it at two. It seems small, but we're putting it on a very small neck of that. So these do not have um, wires, nor does it have a, um, like some, some ribbons have uh, decorations on the front, but not the back. So then you have to give it a twist so that the, the decoration part is uh, faced up. These ribbons I'm using is all plain ribbon, so it's not going to matter. I don't have to twist it. So, so we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to two. Maybe if I can get that to go down in there. Again at two. And another one at two, and then we will go on to a different color. So we have two hoopy bows at the same. So this is gonna be a, a tail. So we're going to, so somehow I managed to get that a little shorter, so I'm gonna cut that at right before the four. So we got some white. Now we're gonna put this pink in there. Bow maker, not <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I this one I got, I like it better than the Bow Dazzler. I mean, I've used both, um, but still, I don't use this that often. I usually do the, um, what I call the rag bows because they're so much easier to make. But I wanted to make something special for this. So again, we're going to make a little tail. This one's, this ribbon has been folded over, obviously been on that cardboard for a long time because it's all, there's no, I probably should have um, ironed it before, but I didn't. So it is what it is. It's going to be, it's going to have kinky kinks in it. So you just keep going back and forth, back and forth. Now, if you forget to put the wire here, it's not that big of a deal because the wire just slightly, it will just slide up underneath there. But I try to remember to put it on so I don't have to worry about lifting the bow up just to slide and mess it all up. What's going on here? I want to make sure your bow's not twisted either. Okay, I'm not using this simply because it needs to be ironed. It's not cooperating. So we're going to go on to this ribbon here and some of this ribbon here. I got no time to be fighting with it. No time, no time. I'm going to use that one at the front so it's sparkly and shows in the front. Okay. The sparkle went out of the way for it right now. And there is over here, if you can see it, there's a place that had a place for a dowel. So you could put your ribbon there. I chose not to put that on there. Just I just keep the ribbon here by my side. It's fine. So if you get one of these and you want to put that on there, that's fine. Also, when I put these in here, I had to like really push them down. But then I also glued, I hot glued them in there because otherwise they kept working their way out. So you'd be in the middle of a bow and one of these would be falling out. So I'm like, mm, no. So they are now hot glued in there and they're not going anywhere. Two. I like this color. It's kind of a dusty rose pink. And a couple more. Okay, and then we will cut this off. Four, three. 
three. We'll put that one away. No, I like so. I like the colors. And then this one is just, it's like see-through Chanel, like whatever they call it, yeah. And this one, I think I'm going to make the bow a little smaller because it's the inside bow. Okay, last one. Okay, cut that off. Now I'm going to take my wire. And attempt to get it through this... Okay, so now I have the wire. Around it, I didn't tie it, I'm so stupid. Don't take it out till you have it tied. I forgot, I put them through there and I forgot to tie it. That was my dodo moment for the night. Let me bring it to the back. Tighten it up. Tighten it. I didn't tighten it too much because I gotta pull my bows back because I have them all messed up. All messed up. Pokey tool. So just do what I tell you, but don't do what I do because I don't even listen to my own. I can't believe I did that. I thought I had it tied and I just pulled them on out of there. There we go, much better. And then you just kind of manipulate your bows around your little loops. Where'd my thing go? Get rid of this loveliness.
Here, you guys can watch me fight with this bow. Not the best bow. I'm gonna straight up be honest with you, but wrong way. So some of the loops are smaller, but okay guys. Thanks for hanging out with my craziness here. my stuff put away so I can go oops, to bed. Thank you. Um, I'll be back tomorrow night. Um, I don't remember what I was going to do. There was a project I wanted to do, so I'll, whatever it was, I'll, I'll remember. And because I got a lot of new um, transfers I want to do. What's in there? that back in there, that in there, and this weird looking ribbon that didn't work for me in there. Okay. You guys have a beautiful night. And hopefully I'll see you back here tomorrow night around 8.15 or so. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great night. Bye.